Today I made two videos. You're gonna notice because I'm wearing the same shirt in both videos. Hoo -hoo. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about the paintings I've done during the month of October. As some of you know that we've been closed again, but I think I said it, I don't remember if I said it in my last video. Anyways, I don't have many videos, so what am I talking about? Anyway. <laughs> Um, so today I'm going to talk about my paintings that I've done during the month of October and I haven't done much but I've been working uh, slowly and I think comfortably doing other things at the same time. I'm gonna try something different this video. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna try to put the painting on screen while talking about it. I'll try to do some like detailed shots so that it looks profesh. I hope it's gonna work. Anyways, let's get to it now. The first painting I'm gonna talk about is one that I did in 2017. It's a self-portrait and it's um, oh it's dusty. Okay, it's very dusty. Anyways, it's this one and it's a self-portrait I did in 2017 in the summer when I bought this new hat. I thought that was fun. And um, this is the painting that started kind of this series. I guess it is a series. I don't know why I'm doing the air quotes. It's a series of paintings that I've done. And they all have like a mysterious uh, figure in them. I'm like, I'm trying to do more of a... Um, I miss doing portraits because I've been doing lots of the cinema drawings. And uh, those are more like... Um, like an architectural landscape and I wanted to do more of portraits I missed them I didn't know exactly what to do but like I just went with it like these uh, mysterious boys is what I'm going for and the kind of like uh, they're kind of just there to be like objects and just to be like looked at and they also have like a very like complete contemplative look about them and kind of like um, a dark presence like they're not uh, they're not happy they're not uh, they're just not I have to learn how to talk about my work so this is good practice that's what I'm doing right now I'm practicing okay so this is the painting that started it and um, this is in 2017 and after that I didn't really do much portraits I didn't really I don't know, I lost it. I guess I lost it because I didn't really have a concept. And like, do I really still have one? Not really, but I think it's better to be concept less and do more work and just do what you want to do. And then you kind of mishmash what you wanted to do, what your intentions were from the beginning, because it's hard to articulate your intentions when you're just starting. And also like, you don't want to, you don't want to come up with a whole, a whole narrative, a whole, uh, description of your work and then make the work it kind of like ruins the magic because what if you discover something new while working then you're gonna be like oh, okay well I can't go against what I had planned from the beginning it kind of like plays with your psyche I don't want to do that at least that's not how I work maybe you work like that it's just uh, go with it <laughs> okie doke so that self-portrait is the one that started the this idea this uh, whole narrative of like mysterious boys and then I did, I did, I think this one was next. And this is a painting, an oil painting on canvas of a man on a motorcycle. And the motorcycle is on fire and um, he's like just sitting there. He's like very like nonchalant about it. And his features are darkened and kind of like, kind of melt into the background, but not really, but not melt as in like, they're not rendered. They're kind of rendered. They're just not uh, evident. They're very darkened. And I like how the fire is kind of illuminating behind it. And I also like the perspective. It's very like diagonal. It's not done. Nothing's done. I'm still working on them. I, I work slowly and many at the same time, and I don't really finish much i must say i'm kind of like uh, very scatterbrained i'm very scatterbrained so yeah there's a 
there's the motorcycle man and I haven't really given titles but um, I'm kind of like trying trying to find titles the next one is this one so this was another painting before I sketched out a drawing but I scrapped that and now it became this and it's just like a dude just laying I'm gonna keep the eyes dark just like the other one um, he's obviously not done he's just chilling he's very like uh, I don't know kind of like he has a secret and he's being looked at and they want to discover his secret but he's not telling no one <laughs> this is like one layer and like you can still see the gesso underneath so it's obviously not done next painting there's this little portrait and this one is like a binocular boy and um, he's wearing a funky hat he looks really good in that video I must say like I'm looking at him right now <laughs> um, yeah there's lots of contrast and I think the um, well, lots of contrast is something I used to do a lot in Dawson because I like the I like those Renaissance paintings the Chiaroscuro Chiaroscuro painting from um, yeah and I really like the Caravaggio am I still into Caravaggio I mean I don't think about him often anymore I don't know right now I'm not really into the Renaissance thing anymore for sure there's like some kind of a residual muscle memory in my paintings while while I'm working but I don't really I'm not like consciously saying I want to be like Caravaggio it's not really someone I I look up to anymore as a painter I don't I don't really care about his history or his story or whatever because he's dead so who do I really like I, oh my god oh my god I love Amy Silman that's a good painter fuck that yeah Amy Silman's really good her Instagram or the people going to her shows and tagging tagging her Instagram I follow the hashtag amazing work amazing 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 anyways we went off topic again what was I even saying I don't remember what it was okay so we we did binocular boy and this is the last one that I've done in October same man on a horse I started this a long time ago but I just finished it in October and this was supposed to be like a, a green yellow color scheme they all follow color schemes I find it helps me focus on the work so this one's like green yellow with the blue kind of like the only different color in the painting and here there's little dandelions they're so cute I love my little dandelions. Uh, yeah. I think it started off yellow, but it turned green, which is fine, whatever. And this one is mostly red, mostly pink. I think this one was supposed to be purple or uh, like, um, like a lavender color. And it ended up being more pink. Um, this one will be more blue violet. And the motorcycle one is orange, orange red, orange red with some green, but like mixing yellow, mix, uh, darkening yellow makes it green and makes it like a khaki color. So it's like a yellow, orange, red, and that green khaki color is just to complement a bit of those uh, reds and oranges. And that concludes, no it doesn't. I have another one. Oh, I sit on the floor <laughs> when I make videos. I have another one that I that I did, but it's not really it's not really um it doesn't really fit this series, but it's kind of like I took ideas from it. And um cuz the, the other one it fits more my cinema paintings. My cinema paintings and drawings because it's it's literally taken from a scene from the cinema. But uh, like it's it's similar. I'll go get it. So it's this one, and like you can see, it's another motorcycle. It's a person on the motorcycle. But if I put it side by side with like 
this. They're not really similar. They don't really fit. And that's kind of sad. Sad because I make so many paintings, so many works, and they're so all over the place and like super not cohesive as a whole. They're more co cohesive um, as a pair, as um, like a little groups. I make lots of little groups of paintings. Like my cinema paintings don't look at all like these uh, mysterious boy paintings, but um, I still like doing them. So should I stop doing them just to be cohesive? I find that kind of depressing. I don't want to do that. I've had issues finding uh, exhibitions and stuff or like um, getting into um, exhibitions. I don't know how to describe it exactly, but I know that my work is all over the place and very like, uh, there isn't one singular thought in the whole, in my body of work. And for the moment, I don't really want to change that, but I, I'm aware of it and I will work on it, of course. And like, I don't know when, <laughs> but I'm gonna work on it. Yeah, for now, I'm just having fun. I'm just doing my own thing and a uh, bit if something happens, something happens. I, it's not like I haven't had any shows. I've had some shows. It's just uh, I know that if my work was more consistent and if I made the same thing all the time, it would be easier to brand me. It's not like I'm anti, anti branding or like uh, I feel like uh, I'm a sellout or a cop out or whatever, whatever outward. But like right now, it's not my, it's not my priority, I guess. My priority is more just to paint, have fun just do my um, do my thing and if something happens something happens touchy subject i guess I, i'm kind of uh, sensitive about it because i for a long time i didn't know what i was doing and i didn't know what the issue was and then people especially at school people would say oh you're you're lacking concept you're not uh, cohesive you're not this you're not that and i didn't think it was something that i had to absolutely think about while making work i felt like you just you just do your thing and you practice your skills and you hone your craft, but like, that's the issue. It's not just a craft, it's not just a skill, it's also like a career, it's a, it's a field of study. You have to study it. There's so much history, there's so much uh, knowledge to share and and propagate and you can't just, you can't just do your thing. That's fine, like I, I don't mind that. But uh, like I said, right now it's not what I want to do. Right now I have other priorities. What was I saying? Okay, well. Anyways, thanks again for watching my videos and uh, don't be shy to support me on all the socials, all the socials, all of them. Like I said, it's just for fun and I'll be back when I'm back. Bye bye.